Internet of Things, especially connectivity part of it, it is a hot topic among bigger audience, but it's also something that is lively discussed among parties that these see themselves as competitors. But could it be that joining forces is what in the end will bring the best benefits to our connected lives? Let's have a closer view. On one hand, we have free GPP specified technologies like narrowband IoT. These license spectrum technologies are providing very reliable connectivity and advanced security. For these technologies, we see the first network implementations already now and chipsets are coming into market. On the other hand, we have the unlicensed spectrum technologies like LoRa. The technology and devices are already available today. As these technologies use commonly shared spectrum, there is no need to acquire a license so anyone can use them. However, professional services are needed to enable enterprise-grade quality. Even if they target to similar use cases and applications, factors such as availability and access to spectrum, installed base, time to market or telco grade quality clearly justify the coexistence of both technologies. Let me explain a bit more detail. 3GPP technologies such as narrowband IoT, LTEM and EasyGSM provide high availability and security. This is crucial specifically for business-critical applications where delays can't be tolerated. Also, the infrastructure to support such technologies is already in place and it's generally only a software upgrade that is needed for the current cellular network to provide IoT connectivity. So, one can provide a countrywide coverage for an IoT service practically overnight. Unlicensed technologies, for example LoRa, are suitable for use cases where a delay in data package delivery is not the end of the world. Imagine an enterprise that would like to monitor its campus with humidity or temperature sensors. Unlicensed solutions allow the enterprise to achieve this goal economically already today. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised to see the same enterprise using a mix of unlicensed network and licensed technology from an operator for different purposes in their organization. Based on several pilots and trials and our experience on different customer segments, we at Nokia conclude that licensed and unlicensed spectrum technologies are truly complementary. This ensures best possible connectivity solutions to fulfill our customers' different business models.